Hello everyone, this is Tin Man Lee. Um, so I uh, spent the whole morning trying to figure this out. So this is uh, something new that I want to uh, see if uh, it works. Is uh, some new instruction tools uh, uh, for for the group. Okay. Um, so um, let me see. Yeah. So um, so I am on here, and uh, where do I see the comments? Invite group members, copy to clipboard, done. Okay, cool. So, um, hello everyone. Um, so this is Tin Manly. So today I'm just gonna do uh, something new. Um, so I just learned that I can actually connect my iPad onto the screen. So let's see if it works. Okay, so please let me know. Um, it's gonna be just a sh very short uh, live. So let me see if I click on here. Do you guys see this image uh, of the owl? If so, that would be interesting because, um, like for example, I just posted this photo uh, a few days ago in my Instagram account, and um, oh hey hey Margaret, so I just posted this, um, and uh, so I want to kind of uh, talk a little bit about this because I'm preparing for this uh, uh, backlit webinar, and um, so a lot of things I'm thinking what would be the most helpful for that and so anyway so so for this for example if I, you look at this photo right so one of the things that um, I always try to pay attention when I do backlit is um, try to one one of the one of the ways not not always one of the ways to do it is to try to find a darker background uh, because you know backlit doing backlit uh, the the animal the face of the animal is not uh, shine uh, with, with the light on uh, it doesn't have direct light on their face so the face is kind of darker right so you actually want something a little bit darker than the face to uh, re really show it otherwise it might be too dark um, so uh, so I I took a bunch of photos of course <laughs> not waiting for that particular moment to 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 take it but this is the moment when uh, the owl uh, short yi owl uh, is flying above this golden uh, background up onto this darker one so so you see that uh, uh, here oh look at that and here Look at this. <laughs> so, so in here above it is a little bit of golden color, and then up below it, uh, these are all the uh, gold color too. So, um, so this one is uh, where the owl is, and for the composition, right? I what I do is I leave some space here. So because the owl is uh, going this this way, uh, oh no. But look at that I can actually redo it going this way right so I leave some space on this side so where the owl is flying to and um, so oh god I love that <laughs> and then uh, and here is kind of just uh, like like a little frame to um, to kind of show show the uh, so the whole environment and I uh, and and I like it that you can see both eyes in here, and then there's some uh, some rim lights on here, and then some some lights catching on here and here. So so that's uh, what I want uh, in this photo, and uh, and all in here though th this spot is uh, kind of a little bit distracting, but uh, but I don't want to uh, remove that because this is right there on on the screen, right? So uh, so oh yeah thanks Margaret and thanks Maria so so I'm just trying to play with this too this is the iPad actually what you're looking at and uh, since I I bought it for like two months and I never used my uh, the the Apple Pen so I was trying to do that so so this is one thing that I'm gonna talk more about in in the upcoming webinar and uh, so let me let me just try something something more so uh, so for example in this image right here yeah okay so you guys see the uh, bison photo right uh, this is a black and white photo one of my uh, favorite uh, bison photos um, so for example in here uh, something that um, I'm actually going to do a, another little tutorial about um, composition and uh, implied lines and curves of the image so if you look in here um, there is an implied line going here and here right and then uh, here you see this implied line going here and here and so this is pointing this way this is pointing this way if you remember uh, Paul McKinsey's uh, interview where uh, we talk a lot about um, this composition stuff so like, like this one is pointing this way and it's pointing with this way and so what is it really pointing to is the, the two eyes right so so these are kind of the the linkage is it called linkage? Is it uh, kind of the, the hint 
like the leading lines, leading to where the the hook of the image is. I talk a lot uh, in 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 my class about the hook, um, uh, because you are visit, you are inviting the viewers for a visual journey on your two dimensional image, right? So there you need you need to leave some hint uh, to lead the eyes on where they're looking at. Otherwise, uh, uh, well, they they will eventually look see the eyes, right? But what you what we as a photographer is to help guide the viewers into where they want to look at and this is really our it's almost like our own screenplay our stage uh like how, uh, we are we are creating a drama right so these are all the, the, the all the things are on that so anyway so also you know this part is brighter and this part is darker so you know also have uh, uh created some some kind of uh, what i call uh, tension in here um so is there a button where i can completely remove all the thing instead of clicking the undo button so so anyways um so there's just just these minor things actually pay a lot of difference in the photo so i just want you guys to uh learn more about that so so if you like it like this kind of uh tutorial uh, definitely leave your comment here and type yes if you want want me to talk more about um this kind of things um so uh, actually uh, so actually, the image is not cropped. I don't know why, like this part is is cropped right here, but it actually is not in the original image. So how do I display the full image? I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll figure that out. But anyways, um, all right. So it seems like uh, this is working, and um, and uh, so leave your comments here, and I'll try to reply to you if you have any questions. And uh, again, the I'm preparing for the. Um, for the uh, uh the, the, the the backlit webinar well I, I don't want to call it just the backlit webinar uh backlit is just one of the techniques that we can use to evoke more emotion right but i don't want people to think that they have to take backlit to evoke emotion so maybe i'll just uh title the webinar as how to create photos that is more impactful right more create more impact into the viewers maybe something like that um so if you, uh, so I'm going to take down the, uh, the my current webinar in a few days. I'm actually reworking on my website too. God, it's been like nonstop working uh, these last few days. Um, so so if you want to uh, still watch my old uh, original webinar, it's at tinmanly.com slash webinar. And uh, and I'm going to take it down and replace it with the new webinar. I'm, I may just do it live uh, in the, one of the next few days um, and so that you guys can all come in and have a party you know uh and that will be fun so so anyway so i just want to show this uh, ipad thing so i may switch around like you guys have watched my uh, video on the uh door ship with the rainbow right uh, that one i was using a bigger whiteboard and uh, so that one is also a lot of fun because <laughs> i can move around you can see me drawing and stuff but here this this one is good because um, you can see me um let me see you can see me um, playing around with the images, right? For example, like this one, right? And like, like the eye contact, and and I don't know if you guys uh, know it because uh, this part is actually in the in the shadowy area. So the the pupil of this one here, the pupil uh, compared to this one is different, right? I don't know if any any of you have seen that. It's very interesting. The um, these uh, owls, right? They are the the is it called the pupil or the iris or the or the eyeball, I don't know how, how it's called, but due to the amount of light uh, coming into the eyes, uh, the, the, the the pupil dilate on the right hand side. So it's uh, it's a very subtle thing, but I, I just love to see this kind of uh, amazing uh, nature uh, behavior here. Hey, Eric. Hey, good to see you. I was just thinking about you today. Um, we, we'll, we'll catch up later. So, um, so yeah. And again, look at that. So the background here is uh, also darker than the owl. So so that's why you also uh, created kind of like these tensions to uh, to lead people's eyes into the uh, the eyes of the the thing. And of course, the head turn of the bird is always uh, something we uh, all dream to to get. So I was very lucky to to get that. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, don't want to make it too long because I just I was just tr trying to test the um, um, the um, uh, all the equipment so that I have all the new toys, right? <laughs> I have the I have the uh, so I bought this uh, new pen too. I think uh, that I, I I just opened today, so I still have my uh, the boxes is still here. So uh, new toy, right? Always happy to have new toys. And God, I bought so much stuff. I if someone can stop me from being a shop shopaholic, that 
be good. But I'm buying everything for uh, helping to for the photography. So, <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Davro, hey, good to see you. Uh, black part is pupil, yellow is iris. Oh, really? So, so iris. So the whole eye is the lens, right? Oh, is it the lens? So let me see. Uh, so for us, so the so the black part. Okay. So it's just like 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 us human, right? It's where the yellow is, where we are white on the eyes, right? Okay, got it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, good to have a uh, uh, have a, have someone who is expert in biology to 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 help that. So so anyway, so um, glad that you guys uh, enjoyed uh, this, and I'll do more of this. Um, Maybe after I post uh, some photos that I like in Instagram, I may just bring in the photo to talk more about it. And uh, oh, so look at that. So I can control this and then change the color, I guess. Like, like look at that. And then I can make it bigger, you know, like, like oh, like this. And then uh, smaller. And uh, what, what color do you want? Uh, purple. Like, look at that. Yeah, I'm just gonna just sign my name and <laughs> I'm just going crazy. Um, this so this app is called the uh, is it called the uh, what what is the name of this 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 app? I forgot. Procreate, right? So I I purchased this app for a long time too. Is I I was hoping to do some painting and drawing when uh, sipping a coffee, you know, um, sitting on the balcony and relax, but it never happened. So maybe I should do do more of that. So, um, yeah. Okay, lens is between the iris and the retina. You can only see if animal has cataract, huh? Retina. So, in inside the um, inside. So this is the uh, the eyeball, right? And I think in the middle of the eyeball, um, you have. Uh, is it something like this? Like the um. That is where the light is coming in. Is that how it is? I don't know. Oh, anyways, <laughs> I don't want to get too much into that. But uh, but it's just very interesting if you look into uh, this part, right? God, how how do I clear everything? Is there a button where I can clear all the all my all my drawing? Maybe they don't want that because uh, it's supposed to be a drawing app, right? So you, you don't want to click one button and you lost the whole drawing in here. Oh, here. I guess okay, and then control the eraser. Oh no, <laughs> it's not good. How do I do that? Um, is it the eraser? Oh, this is the airbrush. Um, ink, vintage, touch up. So there's no no eraser in here. Not like the the Photoshop one. Huh. Painting, drawing, inking, sketching. No, no, no. Oh, so I can also change the. The stroke and the stroke and everything. So that's very interesting. Water. Oh, look at that! <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, <laughs> I gotta stop. Otherwise, people will think that I'm going psycho on you guys. Okay. All right. So, um, so good to see you guys. And um, I will, I will try to do some some more regular kind of uh, thing to talk to you guys and all. But anyways, good to see you guys. I'll see you next time. All right.